Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rajav from IIT Madras and I am an MS Foreign in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. Today I am going to share one of my interview experience at IIC Bangalore. Last year I had applied for research program at IIC Bangalore in various departments. Fortunately, I have received from each department to which I applied. Uh, so today I am going to cover one of the most department, one of the most demanded department of IIC Bangalore, which is CDS, Computation and Data Science. Many of you are uh, willing to take admission in this uh, department CDS, but let me tell you, yeah, it is very difficult to take admission in this department, uh, it, whether it is uh, MTech or MS or PhD. So, and let me tell you, it has a huge, uh, job, job, uh, huge prospect in future. So, if you are getting this department, take it. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to crack the interview. But I want you all to take learning from my interview experience so that you can clear without any hassle. So this is my interview letter uh, for research ad uh, program admission. I had applied for research program only. I am not interested much in MTech program uh, due to my personal obvious reasons. So this is three departments, Computation and Data Science, Electrical Engineering and Robert Bosch Center for the Center of Cyber Physical System. You can see it was held in the month of May all three hours, uh, all three will held in a one day or two day in between. And this is the mode of entry. Let me clarify you this uh, return as CFTI. So there are various mode of entry CFTI and gate like that. I am also qualified for gate, but since I am from the CFTI, so it is return CFTI because they give more weightage to CFTI. And you uh, let me tell you that you can also take a direct admission in various IITs for a PhD and MS if you are from CFTI and, uh, and above 8.5 CGPA. So let us begin this uh, interview experience. So this is computation and data science. And I know many of you are take, willing to take the admission in this department. So let us continue this. Yeah, this is the browser for CDS department. You can see this is for 22 cycles. So it is quite similar. And it is actually organized in two uh, streams computational science and computational data science. Uh, it is divided into various sub streams. Uh, uh, at the later point of time, you are asked to select in which area you are interested. But first criteria is to get shortlisted for the interview. Uh, when after you get the call letter from the ISA Bangalore, you will ask to appear for a phase one, which is the online aptitude, which will held on the Hacker Earth platform. So to appear for interview at CDS department, you first have to clear the phase one. So many of you uh, uh, do not get selected for phase two because you do not take seriously the phase one. It is online aptitude test. Uh, most probably they will conduct online only in this uh, uh, year also. So it is quite easy. If you answer most of the question, uh, you will get uh, shortlisted for the phase two. Let me tell you that there is a coding round also in this because since this is a CDS, so there will be two coding question in this. One of them will be quite easy, but one of them will be uh, quite related, uh, will be difficult. In my case, one of them is quite difficult. It is related to graph like that. So I was not able to um, uh, solve the second coding question, but I was able to solve the first coding question, which is quite easy. It is, it is related to if else, uh, so that you can easily crack that. Apart from that, the syllabus is like probability, linear algebra. So if you are proficient in linear algebra probability, you can easily crack that online aptitude test. So if, after clearing the phase one, you will ask to appear for the phase two, which is in-person oral interview. So the real battle starts from the phase two. Many of you will clear the phase one easily. It will take minimal effort from you. You just have to prepare linear algebra, probability and coding part. If you are preparing for these uh, areas really well, you can easily crack phase one. Let me assure you, I have also cleared phase one quite easily, but for phase two, it is quite difficult. So after clearing the phase one, which is online aptitude test, you will ask for in-person interview. After that, you will ask to uh, select in which area you are interested. So, for hacker, yeah. uh, so uh, you must be familiar with the hacker because most probably they will conduct the test 
in this uh, year also in Hacker Earth. So it will be about 75 minutes, which is quite sufficient. And there will be one practice test also, so you can appear from that also. So here the description also given, it is 15 question, 12 multiple choice question and three programming question. So it can be three or two. And my case, as far as I remember, it is two only. So it can be two or three programming question and 12 multiple choice question. There, there is no MSQ. So MSQ make the difficulty more. So if there is no MSQ, so you can easily crack. So topics are given at linear algebra matrices. So for each and every area in CDS department, you must know linear algebra and probability and statistic. So if you are covering this part only, you can easily crack. Even if you are not covering differential equation, plotting data, uh, combinatoristic. So you can skip that, but you must be focused on these two areas. Because as far as I have experienced in various IITs, these two areas are the most demanded concept in every department, in uh, every branch in which I, I have appeared for interview because I had applied for signal and system. So in the signal system also, signal processing. So they focus on these two concepts only. And if you're uh, quite proficient in this, you can easily solve the differential equation of plotting. So there will be one, one, one question of plotting as well, which is uh, quite easy for electrical people because they solve electrical and electronics paper because they easily know signal system and differential equation you must know from the math concept and data structure and algorithm it's quite necessary but even if you do not know the programming really well you can easily crack the phase one but without programming you cannot expect to clear a phase two because cds department was uh, is totally about the data structure and algorithm and if you're not proficient in this so you cannot survive in this department even if you can get the entry in this department, you cannot survive without data structure and algorithm. So if you are uh, really interested and passionate about this department, you must know data structure and algorithm, even though it is not uh, written necessary. And for programming language, yeah, C, C++, and Java, I am quite surprised that there is no Python because I am quite uh, uh, comfortable in Python. So it is there is no Python. So I will suggest you to go for the C++ because most of you may know C++. Java is not so popular in the students community. So you can go for C++. Um, so this is all about the uh, online aptitude test. So here also it is written if then else condition for while loop data structure and array. So you must know if else and for while loop because there will be one question related to this. And maybe I think there will be one uh, one or more related question related to output as well. Otherwise, related uh, there will be one more question related to aptitude and reasoning also. And they will also provide uh, previous year questions, so you can visit their website also so that you can get familiar about. It. After that, in-person oral interview. So it is uh, here also it is written linear algebra, probability, and statistics. So it is quite clear that you must know these two and for learning these two you have to start from today only because these two topics seems quite simple but when they ask question related to them you will really get confused so uh, for linear algebra you can refer to Gilbert Stang so the the MIT interview so for both these two concepts you can refer to MIT videos for uh, Probability, I think there is related uh, one video of MIT. Uh, I don't know actually name, but you can refer MIT videos uh, for both concepts. You will really gain a lot of knowledge. And apart from that, you must know about your uh, undergraduate project. If you are a master student, you must know about your master thesis. So these two are quite compulsory. They will make, they will most probably ask from your final year projects also. And differential equation, discrete mathematics, these are necessary, but uh, you can skip also. But you must focus on this. After that, you must. Uh, and there, this one uh, more doubt that uh, when um, that whether to go for MTech research, which is also MS, or go for PhD. So you must not concern about this. First, clear your interview. Then after thought uh, whether I want to go for MS or PhD. Maybe they will ask. So at that time you can say I will prefer both. 
so you may have a more chance of getting selection in, uh, honestly i have seen that they prefer phd students not mtech research so this is the list of labs etcg amcl biomed ai cg cmg and quest so these labs accept a uh, student from all background qualification although it is written from all background qualifications but it demands the, uh, the qualification in one particular domain for example in biomed ai uh, biomed so if you're not uh, um, familiar with the biomedical concept bio uh, biology of human body you cannot expect to uh, work on this area so although it is written a student from all background but you have to do a lot of efforts uh, if you are doing the um, uh, if you are getting selected in the department which is very different from your undergraduate uh, department so uh, i have not selected any department from this because uh, i am not experienced in this all so atcg you can refer there's one uh, playlist also maybe i can uh, give the link of this playlist uh, in which actually that playlist is related to the one of the information session which was held before the interview uh, in which uh, one of the professor i think deepak sir has explained all uh, departments um, the head of all the uh, sub stream has uh, come uh, and explain about their area so what they ex expect from the student so you can refer to this video so if you are planning to go for cds department you must be familiar from of, um, of all these uh, sub streams uh, so you have to do a lot of efforts to get admitted in this department to be honest so this is algorithm techniques for computational genomics this is quite related to uh, biomedical related field algorithm design and analysis data structure and graph algorithms and applied mathematics and com computing lab so it is very much related to the linear algebra means applied mathematics part so if you are from the mathematics department you can uh, prefer this and if you are related to biomedical and biotech department you can prefer this but if you are preferring this and if you are from electrical background and you are preferring this department you can you will really face difficulty i have faced difficulty in said so that's why i am telling yeah this is the biomedical image analysis you have to you are asked to select three departments this is the quad quest lab and this department this csl dream mars vl bcl except student from cs double e background qualification so uh, as far as i remember i had, i am quite interested in image processing so that's why i had applied for video analytics lab vl visual computing lab these two labs seems quite uh, similar to each other and then third i have applied i think biomed uh, uh, biomed image analysis biomedical because it is also related to image processing so uh if you are if i will talk about my interview experience at this so, so first they asked me why i have selected this department why i have given preference so you must be clear about your preference why you are uh, uh, preferring this department so i have told me that i am quite interested in signal processing image processing so that's why i have selected so uh, they told me okay so after that they started question related to my background first they asked me to introduce yourself so if you are appearing for any interview you must be familiar with this Inter introduce yourself so prepare yourself how to introduce yourself because uh, this introduction will take your interview uh, to the last if you are starting the interview really well you can expect to end it uh, really well also but if you are not starting and not giving the introduction really well it can go in any direction but through introduction you can control the direction of interview so i have also explained but uh, at that point of i am not uh, quite uh, proficient in introduction but right now i am I, since i have given a lot of interview so i am quite experienced in giving the introduction so so they first asked about my uh electrical background 
so they started asking about the uh, draw that wiring diagram of uh, uh, tube light and they are the, uh, to draw the wiring diagram of uh, uh, switchboard like that uh, um, after that i i am not quite uh, familiar with this concept so i told them but uh, they are not quite satisfied then and they asked about uh, they started asking about a related question related to linear algebra uh, then asked about the probability cdf pdf like that and not basic question they, they started with basic question then they proceed to the high level question means it all depends on you if you are answering the basic question they will proceed to the next question otherwise they will not proceed then at the end they ask about the geometry question means uh, related to geometry uh, find the angle i i solve that so uh, uh, if you are uh, uh, solving most question and your professor is quite satisfied with you they will get uh, they will select you but many times it is uh, uh, like that uh, if you are giving question and other candidate is also giving question so they will select uh, on the basis of your answer so how well you uh, really know the concept so many times it is quite possible many of you know the answer but uh, you are not able to express your answer communicate the answer really well so uh, this will affect your interview so communication is also really important so if you are not really comfortable in english so this can also hamper your interview so uh, if you are uh, right now you have a plenty of time so, and if you are planning to go for ic bangalore this is very uh, great department and so uh, tips uh, some tips from my side is that prefer uh, first uh, uh, first uh, complete your gate uh, uh, gate preparation with what have you uh, studied in during your gate preparation uh, revise that uh, completely all apart from your gate uh, focus on the linear algebra and statistical probability complete that also then uh, started uh, start uh, uh reading interview experience start up uh, uh start knowing the experience of the others what they have experienced how they communicated and then at the end focus on your communication skill uh try to communicate your answer effectively to the interview because sometimes it is happen like that even you do not know the answer and if if you communicate that uh although i do not know the answer but I know the concept really well, so it will not impact your interview uh, very much. So uh, the professor not concerned about the final answer. Actually, they concerned about the process or the knowledge, uh, what knowledge you have, how you are approaching the problem. So they really want to test your thinking ability, not your memorizing ability. So it may be possible many of you uh, uh, just remember the formula and then apply the value. It is not like that in research it is important that you uh, think really well it is quite important to think scientifically so if you are thinking in that direction then this research program is for you only and this all from my side i try to com uh, communicate all my interview experience in this video so in the next video i will uh, meet you with another set of interview experience maybe another department of this IC Bangalore also and uh, application for IIT Madras has also, has also opened so I will also share experience later to my IIT Madras interview also so for that goodbye take care and if you are not yet subscribed do subscribe it will really keep me motivated so thank you for watching this video have a nice day